The Hads are live and breathe bushcraft, but of course they don't realise it. It's just the way they are. Understandably for hunters, bows and arrows are central to their existence. Making them is an important everyday task. All the ingredients come from the bush. The glue is made by chewing a variety of different plant materials. The fletching affects the speed and accuracy of the arrow. The twine he's using was made from animal sinews. The Hadza are real people of the bow. Even when they're not hunting, they love to shoot. This scene reminded me of paintings from medieval England. It resonates with our own bushcraft heritage. He's, he's a very good shot. <laughs> I have to shoot very gingerly with these bows. For the last time I shot one of these, I broke it. I mean, these are strong bows. They're not light bows at all, but they're very stiff in action. The wood is very stiff. And um, it isn't quite the same oomph from the bow. You can hear that. The string's not quite as tight. But they're, you know, they do the job quite clearly. Everyone wanted to shoot Gudo's new bow. <laughs> One of the things that's really special about bushcraft is it is its own language. To come here with a bow from my country and, and, and put it in the hands of a Hadza gives them the same joy that I've had shooting their bows and their arrows. Some things just transcend language and international boundaries. And I really think that you know these sorts of experiences bring us closer, human beings from different cultures, bring us closer in understanding to each other.